Hey everyone. The metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, or MOSFET, is a type of field effect transistor, most commonly fabricated by the controlled oxidation of silicon. It has an insulated gate, whose voltage determines the conductivity of the device. Basically, we give a voltage to this terminal, and currents start flowing from drain to source. Isn't this a lot like transistor? Yes, MOSFET is basically transistor's brother from another mother. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to hook MOSFET with an potentiometer to control brightness of a load, LED array, and then connect a microcontroller with MOSFET and add potentiometer to it in order to get same results. Which setup will be more precise in controlling brightness of LED array? What do you think? Let's find out. Here's our MOSFET. Our load is connected in series with VCC to drain of MOSFET. Positive terminal of load is connected to VCC and ground of load is connected to drain of our MOSFET. Load can be a high power LED or array of LED or even a DC motor. So first we're going to connect a 100K potentiometer to our MOSFET and control the brightness of our load which is array of high power SMD LED. Connect one end of potentiometer to VCC and other to ground. The middle terminal will be connected to gate of our MOSFET. You can add a 10K resistor between the gate of MOSFET and middle terminal of potentiometer. By utilizing this circuit, we can simply limit the current going to gate of terminal by potentiometer and this will control the brightness of our LED array. Let's wire our setup on a breadboard according to this schematic. So as you can see, our minimal MOSFET as switch setup is working. Now let's see how to implement the setup to an microcontroller. Now let's control our MOSFET switch setup with a microcontroller hooked up with a potentiometer. For that, just take any PWM enabled digital pin, and connect it with the gate of MOSFET. Do not forget to add a resistor in series. Connect the ground of microcontroller with ground of MOSFET. Connect the middle terminal of potentiometer with any analog pin, and positive and negative terminal to microcontroller 5 volts and ground. Ok so now let's just wire the setup on breadboard according to this schematic. Okay, now let's look at our code. Code is in video description so you can just copy it from there. Let's upload it to our board. Brightness of this setup is lot greater than last setup. This is because of current flow which is greater than last setup and the setup is more accurate and can dim the LED with proper PWM signal which have a higher resolution. And that's the difference between using a microcontroller with a MOSFET and using a MOSFET directly without any IC or stuff with potentiometer. Long story short, second setup wins. I hope this video was helpful, if yes, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Stay creative and I will see you next time. Peace out.